pair of sixes. Three deuces. This is my last week. I get all the aggravation I need at home. Hello, Oscar the poker player. If it's my wife, tell her I'm leaving at 12. You look at your watch one more time and you get peanuts in the face. Deal the cards. Who? All right. All right. Who did you want, please? Dabby? Dabby who? No, there's no Dabby here. Oh, Daddy! Oh, for Christ's sakes, it's my kid! Brucie! Hello, baby! Yes, it's Daddy! Oh, hey, hey, come on, give me a break, will you? My five-year-old kid is calling from California. It must be costing him a fortune. Have your bed, sweetheart. Yes, I finally got your letter. It took three weeks. Yes, but next time you tell Mommy to give you a stamp. I know, but you're not supposed to draw it on. <laughs> hey, you here? We're here, we're here. We're all thrilled. <laughs> What's that, darling? What goldfish? Oh, in your room. Oh, sure, sure, I'm taking care of them. Oh, God, I killed my kid's goldfish. <laughs> yes, I feed them every day. Murderer. Mommy wants to speak to me? Right. Take care of yourself, soldier. I love you. Ante a dollar. Cost you a dollar to play, Oscar. You got a dollar? Not after I get through talking to this lady. Okay. Hello, I'm Blanche. How are you? Uh, yes, I have a pretty good idea why you're calling. I'm a week behind with the check, right? Four weeks? That's not possible. Because it's not possible. Blanche, I keep a record of every check, and I know I'm only three weeks behind. Blanche, I'm trying the best I can. Blanche, don't threaten me with jail, because it's not a threat. With my expenses and my alimony, a prisoner takes home more pay than I do. Very nice in front of the kids. Blanche, don't tell me you're gonna have my salary attached. Just say goodbye. Goodbye. I'm $800 behind an alimony, so let's up the stakes. She can do it, you know. What? Throw you in jail for non-support of the kids. Never. If she can't call me once a week to aggravate me, she's not happy. It doesn't bother you that you can go to jail or maybe your kids don't have enough clothes or enough to eat? Mary, Poland could live for a year on what my kids leave over from lunch. Can we play cards? But that's the point. You shouldn't be in this kind of trouble. It's because you don't know how to manage anything. I should know I'm your accountant. If you're my accountant, how come I need money? If you need money, how come you play poker? Because I need money. But you always lose. That's why I need the money. <laughs> Listen, I'm not complaining. You're complaining. I get along all right. I'm living. Alone in eight dirty rooms. If I win tonight, I'll buy a broom. That's not what you need. What you need is a wife. How can I afford a wife when I can't afford a broom? Then don't play poker! Then don't come to my house and eat my potato chips! Hey, no, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. What are you yelling about? We're playing a friendly game. Who's playing? We've been sitting here talking since 8 o'clock. Since 7. That's why I said I was going to quit at 12. How would you like a stale banana right in the mouth? All right, all right. Let's calm down. Take it easy. I'm a cop, you know. I can arrest this whole lousy game. Four. My friend Murray the cop is right. Let's just play cards. And please hold them up. I can't see where I marked them. You're worse than the kids from the PAL. But you still love me, Roy, sweetie, right? Yeah, yeah. That's not good enough. Come on, say it in front of the whole poker game. I love you, Oscar Madison. You don't take any of this seriously, do you? You owe money to your wife, your government, your friends. What do you want me to do, Roy? Jump in the garbage disposal and grind myself to death?